Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna solve problem 85 of chapter 5. Member AB is supported by a cable BC and at A by a square rod which fits loosely through the square hole at the end joint of the member as shown. Determine the components of reaction at A and the tension in the cable needed to hold the 800 pound cylinder in equilibrium. So the problem is asking for component of reaction at A and whenever we are referring to reaction we are referring to either moment, force, or both. We have to go and look at the problem to see what type of reaction the support will apply on our rigid body. The first step is to draw the free body diagram. So if I draw the free body diagram here, I have the 800 pound, the weight of the cylinder. I'm gonna call it the force of weight. And then at B, I have the tension. Then I have reaction forces at A. So if I look at the problem, I can see that this square bar can move along X, but the motion is restricted in Y and Z. So I do not have any reaction force in X, but I have reaction forces in Y and Z. So I have F, or I call it AZ, and then as well as a Y. Now, this support also applies reaction moments. Because it's a square rod in a square hole, it cannot rotate about X axis. So we are going to have a resistive moment about X axis. Also, it cannot rotate along around Y or Z axis either. So we are going to have reaction moments about those axis as well. So we all the three reaction moments are present in this problem. So we have mx, my, and mz. So we have six unknowns. The reaction moments, the reaction forces, a, y, and a, z, and the tension. I'm going to write all my forces in Cartesian form so I can add them together. So I have force FW is acting in the opposite direction of the axis, so it's simply negative 800k and the unit is pound. For force A, it doesn't have any x component, it has only y and z component. And I have the tension. I don't know the magnitude, but I know the direction is from B to C, so if I multiply it by unit vector, I can find it in Cartesian form the unit vector from b to c is the position vector divided by its magnitude 27k now i can write summation of forces in x y and z to find the unknowns so summation of forces in x equals zero summation of forces in y equals zero and summation of forces in z equals zero for x I have this component and that's it. I don't have any other component. So 3 over 7 T is 0. That means that T is 0. So there is no tension in the rope. Going back to the problem, that means that if I cut this rope, nothing is going to happen. All the load is carried by our support. So that means that the whole tension is 0. So summation of forces in Y. I only have AY. So AY equals 0. Summation of forces in Z. I have AZ here and negative 800. So AZ plus negative 100 or minus 800 would be 0. So AZ would be 800 pound. So I had two, three equations. I found my three unknowns. But I have six unknowns. So I need to write summation of moment. I can write summation of moment about point A equals 0. So about point A, all the forces that are applied at point A are not going to create any moment because the moment arm would be zero. But the moments that are being applied on the system are also uh, present. So I have MX, MY, and MZ. So I have to include those. Those won't go away. MXI, MYJ, MZK, plus... 
I have one fourth that is creating a moment about point A, and that's the fourth of the weight. So it's from A to D equals zero. So R A D, if you look at the problem, is simply six J is going from is going from A to D in positive Y direction. And F W is negative eight hundred K. So six J cross negative 800 would be 4800 j cross k will give me i and the cross product is not going to change any sign here because we are going counterclockwise if you remember we have i j k if we go counterclockwise it's positive so if you are going from j cross k we get i that negative is from the the value of 800 so that would be equal zero with the rest. So if this vector is zero, that means that the i component should be zero, the j component should be zero, and the k component. The i component, we have mx, negative 4800 would be zero. That means that mx is 4800, and the unit is pound foot. j component, we only have my, zero z component or k component you only have mz zero so we don't have any moment about z axis we don't have any moment about y axis we have the moment about x axis so if we go to our problem we can see in our free body diagram first of all the tension is zero and our force is perpendicular or is parallel to the z axis here so therefore, it's not going to create a moment about Z. And also, it's crossing Y axis. So it's not going to create a moment about Y either. It only is going to create a moment about X. But we found that using the equations as well. So these are the three unknown that I found. And also the three unknown that I found using my fourth equation. So I found six equations and six unknown. And I didn't have to solve six equations simultaneously.